Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q4 of the weekly contest 345. Count the number of complete compo components. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this particular problem. So this one, um, I think you can do it in many number of ways. You can do it with um, depth first search. You can do it with breadth first search. You can do it with union find, all three of which is a way to find components in general, connected components. And then the other thing that you need to do is to figure out how many edges is in a connected component. Um, and for me, the way that I thought uses is to using union find, you may, uh, you know, disagree. And I kind of wasted a bit of time because um, I, uh, so I did this during the virtual contest in about five minutes and almost six minutes, say. Um, and to be honest, a minute and a half of those was because of a typo. And I did type out the union find instead of maybe paste it in. If I did, then this is probably even more easier. But in any case, I, oh, I just noticed that this is a medium, which makes sense because I didn't think it was a hard, but, but yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the way that I did it. Definitely try to solve it with breath first search and depth first search um, uh, and just try to figure out, you know, you know, work on the things that you're not strong at, right? Uh, okay, cool. So basically the way that I did it is by union find. Uh, not going to go with union find in this particular video because it's always a nuanced thing or it's just a long topic. If, if you haven't gone into it, definitely look up union find or disjoint set, um, uh, uh, disjoint set union and stuff like this. But yeah, there's plenty of videos on it, so I'm pretty sure you could find it. It's not a, you know, yeah. So this is the union find code. And then after after I put in the union find, uh, and oh, well, this is the union find code. And then basically this is the connect the component code where for every two edges, we connect them into one component. Pretty straight, uh, pretty standard. I was gonna say straightforward and standard at the same time as a stranded. But uh, yeah, straightforward and standard way of doing this. And then after that, what we want to do is that we we want to count two things, right? Count the number, the size of the connected component, and you could do it in a number of ways. But uh, uh, meaning you could actually also have written it before as part of the the union find. I was lazy, so I just kind of did it this way, and just count the number of edges in that connected component. Uh, here, this is just to count the number of edges. Uh, the reason why you can do it this way and ignore why is because you already know that they're going to connect it. So if this is only one edge, so you only count it once. Um, this is the size of the graph or connected component. So we just do it for every node and see what is the root of that component that it belongs to. And then at the end, uh, we, we make sure that it is greater than zero is the connected component at that root. And you can kind of just do this math where... Uh, the end choose two number of edges, which is what this is. Um, I, had, I don't know why, but I had some weird type, like mind block type or whatever you want to call it. I had it like this and I had to debug it for a little bit. So that's why I was a little bit slow. But otherwise, yeah, if this is the case, then you have one connected component or one complete connected component. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. What's the complexity, right? Um, for, the, for, the, for the sake of, you know, this, this discussion, uh, union and find is all of one ish. You could play around constant. You could say other stuff like in the argument function and stuff like this. But for me, for analysis, it's gonna be all of one, right? Uh, in that case, then this is all of one. This is all of uh, all, all of one each. This is all of e, which is the, which is the size of the input. This is all of v, which is the number of nodes. And this is also going to be O of V, which is the number of nodes. So in total, this is going to be O of V, V plus E time, and O of V plus E space. So is it just, no, actually, I, I lied. This is O of V space, because I don't think we need the E space right anyway. So yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, but keep in mind that this is actually not, um, not li linear, because V is not linear uh v is is the num uh compared to the number of bits representing the number n so technically you know you could it's not linear for that reason but yeah uh that's all i have for this one i'm gonna make it slightly smaller so you could see everything in one screen uh yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think and you can watch me solve a live in contest next
I don't have any typos. That should be okay, and that's good. All right. <clears throat> Count a number. Go. Connected components have to be complete if there exists an edge between every pair of vertices. Um, is there no double edge or whatever? Hmm. There are a couple ways to do it. I think I'm just trying to think which one is the best. Let's do Union Fine. For a reason that I'll show in a second. Yeah, I'm waiting from scratch instead of um, whatever. Yeah, might as well get them practice, right? I need a size, that's right. Yeah, fine. Zero doesn't sound right. Hmm. What are you doing? Size three, two, and one. Did I mess up them? My size so wrong. The count is okay. Well, first of all, why is this six? Size, 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 size. N is six. Oh, N is. No, N is 6 is right. Okay. I think I just misunderstood it. 1, is it, did I, did I mess this up? Is this plus 1? Nope. So 
Oh, what? what am I doing? That is such a new mystic, new typo. 21, is that right? Yep. Wow, I don't know how I missed that one, but okay. Hopefully, um, if I don't, okay, yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this virtual contest, this problem and explanation and everything. And how did you do? Let me know. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.